Today we are looking at Psalms 141 through 144. Today I want to focus in on chapter 144, verses 1 and 2. This is a Psalm of David. Praise the Lord who is my rock. He trains my hands for war and gives my fingers skillful battle. He is my loving ally and my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer. He is my shield and I take refuge in him. He makes the nation submit to me. David, as we know, is a warrior's warrior. We see him countless times fighting hand to hand and defeating his enemy. Do you think he just showed up on the battlefield and started defeating his enemies? Or do you think he had some experience in fighting? This is the guy that we read about in 1 Samuel 17, 33 through 36, when David offers to fight Goliath. It says, don't be ridiculous, Saul replied. There's no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy and he's been a man of war since his youth. But David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both the lions and the bears, and I'll do it again to this pagan Philistine too, for he has defied the armies of the living God. Okay, so growing up in the country, there might have been a few fights I was in. I might have even wrangled a few rough bulls and cows and even been in a deer fight with just a pocket knife, but that's a whole other story. But I'm going to tell you, David just said he wrestled a lion and a bear and took them by their beard and clubbed them to death. So I was an ornery kid and would tangle with about anything, but I don't think going head to head with a lion by its beard was on that list. So when David was presented with Goliath, he is now face to face with a man that had a whole army scared. And David was like, this ain't nothing. God had been training David's hands for war and his fingers skill for battle, which is very much a part of the sling and the bow. David had learned to fight and protect what God had put him over. And David very much wanted to protect God's people like he had the sheep that he had watched over. One thing I learned after I had come out of the army boot camp at 18 was, I had a lot to learn what I knew about going to war and getting my body into fighting shape. I went in at 6'2", 155 pound beanpole and came out 180 pounds and was ready to do whatever was asked to me by those over me. In the same way, God wants us to learn and be disciplined and let him train our hands for war by being at work doing the things he has called us to do for the kingdom. He trains our fingers to battle by turning the pages of his word and arming ourselves with the word of God. We know our enemy and, we are, and who we are fighting. We aren't fighting the other people around us or the situations we come across. We are facing an enemy whose end goal is to separate us from the presence and love of God. Ephesians 6, 12 through 13 says, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Today, let's allow God to discipline our hearts and minds so that we can do battle for us and our families and fight for what our real enemy, the devil, is trying to destroy.